hello friends welcome back to my channel and uh, today we are back with another exciting tutorial and this video we are going to talk about HashiCorp products and in specifically if you ask me what we will cover in this tutorial this will be a short one where we'll be talking about eight products by HashiCorp and how we can use these product into our CI CD pipeline some of the product you may be already know or maybe all of them but you know for those who are not aware about this product this tutorial will be useful and you know if you are already aware of this product don't worry just give your uh, feedback into the comment sections like you know how you have used this product and you know what is what are the you know, features or benefits you've seen uh, seeing the, using this product in your devops pipeline or cicd pipeline okay now let's talk about you know why HashiCorp, right? So you know a um, uh, lot of people may be aware about HashiCorp because you have seen some product like Terraform or you know Vagrant or some of the common product you know which you have already used or some of you would have heard, but not everybody who would have seen all the product which HashiCorp have. So this video will help you like you know to understand what are the products HashiCorp have and can I use it for your you know uh, environment whether it can be an open source or an enterprise. So why HashiCorp? So HashiCorp have a lot of variety of uh, product. It can be, you know, uh, there are a lot of products which are open source. I would say like most everybody, every every product is open source, but it all, some of them already have an enterprise uh, option as well. So for those who want to go for, you know, support and enterprise support, you can go for some other product in enterprise version as well. Now, you know, the, these products which HashiCorp offers, which are cross-cutting infrastructure management in two in clouds, and it can be used on on-premise environments as well. So, you know, it's not just specific for cloud, it can be used in the on-premise environment as well. And these products which, uh, you know, uh, HashiCorp provide, which have a robust solution, and specifically from a point of provisioning in cloud or, you know, on-premise environment and you all can also have a security you know products so i will talk about you know each these product like you know having you know uh, connections or interconnection network connections between uh, different components and workload automation so different uh, you know features these products have so you can make use of them okay and the, the other main reason is like in the hashicorp has set standards in the infrastructure automation using uh, these products so which you, you you would have seen like you know some of the products are very common and you know most of everybody use for those kind of automation so that's why when i come to you know the product you will be you know uh, very com some of them would be very common like you know uh, i'm sure a lot of people would have already seen like vagrant right vagrant is one of the tool from hashicorp I will talk about where these tools belong in your CI/CD pipeline, and also a small uh, description on what do you mean by you know when it belongs to somewhere like build or you know security. So what is it actually does? Okay, so I'll come up with those things in the upcoming slides. But before that, I just want to give you a list of the product or the softwares or, or tools which HashiCorp have, so that you can have a look on that. So we started uh, with Vagrant. So uh, I hope a lot of you would have known background if you don't know okay no worries as i tell i will talk about it in the upcoming slide so the second uh tool or which i want to bring up is called packer again you know i don't know how many of you have seen packer but this is also an another important and very useful tool from hashicorp let's go to the next one the terraform i'm sure you know a lot of people would have heard about terraform and also using in your daily ci cd pipeline for you know different uh, purpose so again i will talk about why terraform okay in the upcoming slides now let's talk about hashicorp vault okay I i'm sure you know some of you would have also heard about vault as well okay so background terraform vault i'm sure these three you know very common and packer i'm not sure how many of you use but uh, you know there are other tools from hashicorp called console okay so this one also is really interesting and there are also other tool called uh, nomad okay this is also a interesting tool where someone wants to use it for different orchestrations okay and there is also some tools called boundary and also waypoint okay so these are the eight tools which i want to bring in for your notice so if you have not uh, known about this i would say like go to hashicorp site So just go to hashicorp.com and in the product you will be able to see different uh, tools like infrastructure 
uh, no drop from Packer, you know, security side, you know, networking side, no man, you know, waypoint. So all these things, you know, anyhow, I'm just going to explain a little bit, you know, where it comes to the CICD side. So I just wanted to show you where you can see it, you know, these details about these tools in the HashiCorp site, which I will also link into the video description. But before, you know, uh, showing, you know, more about in the site, because that you can definitely go and refer it there. I just want to talk, you know, let's try to understand how this product can be used in our, you know, different life cycle stages of CI, CD or DevOps, right? So what I'm trying to do is I'm going to... Uh, Put these tools like you know whether it's an infrastructure tool or it's uh, or it's a provision tool i'm going to put these tools into different buckets so one is for build and test other one like package uh, some of them would be in provisioning some of them as a security tool some of them would be in run tool okay now let's see you know for, uh, which all these belong to which stages so from uh, my perspective of uh, you know cicd in, uh, in including hashicorp into the cicd pipeline you can use vagrant as a build and test tool so why background as build and test tool? I will sh uh, show that as well as well a little bit. Like, but let me just map them first. You know where it belongs. So HashiCorp Packer. It's a, I will put it as a package part. So in the in different case of our you know CI/CD pipeline, we need to package our softwares into different uh, images, right? So uh, let's talk about Terraform. So it's a provisioning tool. So it's uh, coming from an infrastructure side, okay? And the Vault it's for security side. So why security side that also I'll talk about it and Nomad, you know, which will be coming under a run. So I did not put the other ones. So some of them are very new, uh, you know, okay, and it's not highly utilized by everyone. But you can have a look on those things into the HashiCorp documentation. Okay. Mm -hmm. So here, if you see, we have uh, put a Wagran, Packer, Terraform, Vault and Nomad, which is a really, you know, heavily can be utilized for your CICD or DevOps, you know, uh, side. So where you can get a lot of benefits so in background why background is a build and tool so uh, tool because background helps you to build your virtual machines for your testing your environment and it's easy you know you can just put your in, in a code as a you know, infrastructure as code kind of a yaml file and you just put you know the details how many vms you want to spin up and then just put it into your pipeline it can be used for testing a lot of you know your environments uh, using Vagrant. Okay, so it's pretty easy. I'm not going to in depth on how to set up Vagrant and how to you know use those commands, which I can do it you know uh, in later part of next videos. If you like, you can just put into your put those comments in, you know in my comment section. Okay, and why uh, HashiCorp? Packer as a packaging tool because this is really an uh, interesting tool. So if you want to automate your, you know, building of uh, machine images, right? Like your uh, AWS cloud um, AMIs or you know your Azure, you know, virtual machines images. What you can do is you can create a Packer package. Like you know, you build all the, all the configuration of your image. You install some application and then you convert into a JSON file for your Packer. The next time onwards, you call you know use those image and you can build the machine. So every time you know you build it already, your all softwares are already installed on the you know machine. So that's a pretty interesting uh, tool. So you can definitely make use of that for your you know CI/CD because whenever you want to test something, you don't need to you know uh, install every application after you build uh, build your EC2 or some instance. So you can use Packer for that. And Terraform, uh, quite you know. A common tool where everybody knows you know how you can use uh, terraform for you know infrastructure as code or it's an iac tool if someone one do doesn't know i also have tutorial on terraform you can have a look there so terraform is you know highly utilized from one of the hashicorp tool where we can easily you know spin up uh, cloud instances or you know, like ec2s or different kind of instances so the terraform uh, files you can write you know what you want to build you connect to the cloud instances and you write the you know configuration so once in one in a configuration file put it into your uh, github repository and then just call as part of your pipeline you can build you know your machines uh, from it now hashicorp vault okay this is a very useful tool for you securing your secrets and data so mainly you know if you will be creating a lot of uh, you know uh, environmental variables where you can you will be saving your you know uh, passwords or tokens to connecting to different tools right when the ci cd because all are automated you need to connect to different uh, tools for example you have github tokens you have tokens from other tools where you, it has to connect each other which we will be putting 
as you know uh, into your uh, pipeline right so HashiCorp vault allows you to manage all these secrets so you can just create uh, secrets in the HashiCorp vault and you can you know call into the pipeline using the vault so you don't have to embed these uh, environmental variables into your uh, pipeline script as you know hard coded or you know like uh, tokens and going to the last one, Nomad, it's a workload automate, uh, orchestration tool. So you can use it for orchestrating Docker containers and other you know, components. But it's not that he heavy, you know, like a Kubernetes, but it's still, you know, a lightweight orchestration tool, which you can use it to control, you know, or orchestrate and manage your availability of different applications, so, you know, using Docker containers and anything. So you can have a look, and, you know, as I said, if you guys want to have more information and more, you know, details, uh, how to set up all those things you can let me know so I, I would ask you like you know if you like to see these HashiCorp you know products uh, or if you know about these products before or if you are already using these in your you know environment I would ask you to put your uh, feedback in the comments so people can know like how much of these products are used already uh, which of them are heavily used well, your feedback you know I don't know maybe some of them are good some of them are not uh, that good so you can put your feedback there so it will help for others you know who want to use it and also i would like to you know get your feedback on you know if you would like to see more about these uh, components or these tools you can let me know so i will create separate uh, videos with uh, you know, more details like how to set up those things how to write your configuration files how to use that in the production environment so I'll, you know, based on your feedbacks, I'll be taking forward on these uh, videos. So that's all for this tutorial. So thank you for watching and I hope, you know, you like this video. And if you like my videos, I would uh, request you to click on the subscribe button, like my videos and also give your uh, feedback in the comment section. So thank you for watching.